Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. So I have my empties and unempties. We're going to start with Scentsy and then we're going to go through the rest of the items. Okay, so I finished Evergreen and Grapefruit Dish Soap. I love this dish soap. I wish they would bring this scent back and just the dish soap in general. So I love that so much. So does my family. Okay, I have two in here of the pods. These are the ones I generally use these in my car. This is Candy Orchard, which I think is still available. This was the scent of the month for, was it February? I don't remember. And then Arctic Kiss. I absolutely love, love Arctic Kiss in anything. All right, and then the Disney bar is available. Aristocats, the absolutely perfect. This has cherry blossom. I can't remember, is it jasmine or lily? I can't remember. It is a very pretty scent, but this was such a light performer for me. If it would have been stronger, I, I think I would enjoy it. So hopefully I'll try it in another space. Um, I did it in my bedroom and again, with three cubes, you think that would have done well, but it really wasn't that strong. And then here, I used three cubes of the Harry Potter Honeydukes. Now, you guys told me from my haul and my video on just the Harry Potter bars that this was a candy store in the movie. So, thank you for that. I've never seen the movies. So, this is Fizzing Wisbees. This is Fizzing This, this is... um. Chocolate straw, chocolate dipped strawberries. I think there's like peach, apple, or some weird melon and apple. I don't remember. But I don't get that. To me, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's calling fizzy. I don't really get fizzy in this. To me, this is chocolate and strawberries. It is so good. I did this for two days in my bedroom, and I would say the first day it was strong, the second day was medium. And I really shouldn't have just taken it out, but I wanted to try another scent. I thoroughly enjoyed this. If we, I don't think you can buy this alone, so I will have to add a couple bars to my club. I really enjoyed this. I want to try this in my open concept now because I just feel like this scent hopefully would do, do well in there. So I really did enjoy that one a lot. But then I warmed uh, Cauldron Cakes. This is very interesting because... I said I smelled like a cinnamon creamer type. I I still feel that way or like a pumpkin creamer. I think some of you guys thought you smelled pumpkin in this. I could see where you're going with that. Maybe it's more of like an allspice I smell. I believe I did this one in my bedroom again and it was just, or no, I did it here in the studio. It's in this warmer right now. It's in these warmers. It was a good performer in here, I would say medium, and I'm just still not sure what to think of this one. So I'm actually going to try this in my open concept and see. Let me know if you've warmed that, what your thoughts are on that one. Okay, some of these are empty and some are not because I wanted to go through the scents that are currently available and then some scents that are not. So right now, Glorious Grapefruit is going in my bathroom. I did one cube. This is a strong performer. It's a very pretty grapefruit scent. It is literally like you're cutting a grapefruit. That is like a burst of that grapefruit citrus scent. I still, my only one that I really like in grapefruit is um, Sassy Girl Aroma Easter Parade. I've said that. It's ruby red grapefruit. That is the best. This is okay. I, I have one more bar of this besides this one. I don't think I'll get any more of that one. And then Strawberry Bliss, I've raved about this. This is going in my bedroom right now. I, this is strawberry puree, champagne, and something else. I love this scent. I, oh, I think there's like a little bit of an earthier green note in this. Jasmine, maybe? This is so good. I, it's definitely different than any of their other sugars, like, or the, any of their strawberry scents. I should compare the stra Scentsy strawberries, because, that I have to this, but I really, I think this is one of my favorites. I know we had that strawberry in the Bring Back My Bar. I think I enjoy this more, just because there's that puree part, and then there's a champagne note in this. I really, really love, love this scent. Like, that is a standout for me. And then, strawberry lemon cake, I did... I believe, I didn't do this on Easter. Maybe it was the day before. I can't remember. 
Um, this one I do have scent notes on. This is fresh strawberries, lemon zest, vanilla, buttercream. I felt, I feel like this is, there's no cake listed, so don't think there's cake in this. This is strawberry buttercream. This is an okay performer. I think I've mixed some vendor strawberry with this because it's just not the best performer in my open concept. And then I did hibiscus sunset, which is pineapple and hibiscus. I did this in my bedroom, or sorry, I did two cubes in my bathroom. This was like, 10 out of 10 strength in there is so strong. You definitely got to like pineapple to like this, but this is going to be a great summer scent. This is from the Disney um, Blooms collection as well as the Glorious Grapefruit. Those are the only two I've worn from that collection so far. I will, I think I'll get more of that one. Evening Sky is this bergamot, vanilla. This is really a nice scent. This one's really growing on me from, this is a new launch from the spring summer. It's, I will say this, it's like a standing outside in the evening with a very handsome man. I love this. It's not masculine, overly masculine to me. Evening sky is a win, so I do have, a, I have more of that one. Okay, now the bars that aren't available. And I think a lot of people, I know I've heard um, several people say, why do you go through these scents? Well, Again, you never know what's going to come back or what's going to be in a flash sale. Like Peppermint Dreams is in the flash sale right now. And I went and got more of that because I do have a couple bars of that. So just so you know, if you ever hear about any of these scents, like Cozy Chai was in a flash sale. And I ordered like 12 of these. This is Warm Spicy Cinnamon, Vanilla Bean, and Caramel. My husband, I actually did this two separate times because my husband actually said that, oh, whatever you have going, I like that. That was Cozy Chai. He really liked that scent. Plum and White Woods I did in my laundry room to finish the scent out. This is Sweet Raspberry Preserve Plum and Vanilla Orchid. This is a good performer. I think I have another bar of this. This was from a Bring Back My Bar um, in 2023, so last summer I think it was. It's good. It's just not a favorite of mine. This is a very old clam of banana berry. This I couldn't smell at all. So just be careful with your banana berry if you are holding on to that one. I know someone had said that there's the last scent, so I decided to go warm mine, and yeah, it did. So, okay, shimmer I did in my bathroom. I wanted to finish this. I don't have the set notes. This is a pretty girly, I could see this as like, um, I know they had this in laundry, I think. I definitely feel like that. It's it's like body care-esque. It's not a favorite of mine. I just was going through my bars and trying to pull scents that had a couple um, cubes left. Today I'm doing apples and oats. I don't know why this reminds me of winterberry apple tea so much. Every time I warm this, I'm like, this reminds me of something. This reminds me of something. And then I'm like, winterberry apple tea. Am I the only one who gets that? I don't know. Okay. Then I did perfectly cute. Was this from... Valentine's I think this is gone now golden pear with vanilla apricot blossom I love this this is in my club it's definitely pear I do get some apricot blossom since he does a lot of that this is really pretty I finished Hemingway I do have more of this this is apple uh, woody accent sandalwood cedar and hints of spice I had a couple cubes of this and it's still like right now it's like sleeting out it's April 2nd I so it's just kind of been cold again we had these warm days and now it's been cold again so I decided to finish this because like I said I went and pulled a lot of the bars that I had a few left cubes left in uh, and so I was like I need to get these out of my collection I love this scent so much peony petals royal flowers peonies and roses I love this Oh, I did this in my bedroom for a couple days and I just thoroughly enjoy this. My labels are from Michelle. Michelle, what is your channel now? You changed it. Is it Mini Memories? She makes these. I love her font in that. I love her labels. They don't fade. Here's another one she did for me, Blood Orange Spice. This is Candied Apple Blood Orange Puree Cinnamon Sticks. I was warming this in my husband's bathroom and the kids said, what's that bubblegum scent? <laughs> I was like, bubblegum? So I was like, I went in there and I saw this deep red scent and I went and looked and this was the clam I had out. And now that's all I can smell is bubblegum. I do not know where they got that from, but they really thought that was a bubblegum scent. From, maybe it's the candied apple. I don't know, but it's good. 
I don't know if I have any more of that, but they <laughs> they liked that bubblegum scent. Buzzworthy. This is almond, honey. Is it shortbread? I know this is coming back in the summer, or is it June? Bring back my bar. I know some people, this, like, this is a love-hate. This was a scent of the month, and I have voted for, like, this, like, nobody's business. I absolutely love this scent. I know this is not everyone's favorite if you've tried it, but I think there's something so unique about this. This warms for two days in my open concept. I did this everywhere in my entryway, my dining room, my um, my kitchen and living room are open, right? So I did all of this. I thoroughly enjoyed this for a couple days. I probably didn't need to take it out. It was still going strong. That is such a great, great, great scent. I am super excited for that one to come back. That is one that I wish, like, since these bars all smelled that strong, because it would be nice if we could get that performance. But another one that everyone seems to enjoy is King Cake. Now, this one was from the Mardi Gras collection. I really don't know why they didn't have this in, like, the spring-summer catalog, because this would be perfect. It's a not a nice, not heavy, like, Buzzworthy is a heavy scent. I I think I've heard a lot of you compare this to Almond Croissant. Now, I will say, I don't like Almond Croissant. I warmed it the last couple weeks ago. And if you're asking me, I prefer King Cake versus Almond Croissant. I know, that's probably shocking and crazy to you all, but I just don't, I don't like almond croissant. It's too, there's something in there that's off to me. I think King Cake is a winner. Okay, Simply the Zest, I think this was part of the Easter, not Easter, Valentine collection. I did this in my husband's bathroom. It's a great, again, it's a citrus scent. Sensi does a lot of, so it's like, I feel like sometimes it's just monotony. Like you warm it and you're like, what scent is that? Because it smells like everything else. As well as sparkling yellow. I did this in my husband's bathroom. It, this was in the catalog, I think, last spring, summer. I just, it's fine. It's just not anything remarkable. I have Mediterranean Spa, which I love. This is Relax with a Smooth, Fresh and Breezy Scent. This is like, this is like what would you walk into a spa and it smells like, it's like the rocks and that, um, almost like you get a sea salt or salty sea air in this. This is fantastic. I love it if you can get your hands on that. 101 Dalmatians Top Dog. This one is Sweet Lily Blossoms Apple and Raspberry. I love this. I did this in my laundry room. This is so strong. I did order a few more of this. I think you guys saw my last haul. I love this. Did you guys see in this clearance that Sweet and Sassy Tinkerbell is in there? I ordered more of that because I love that scent as well. And when it's in clearance, why not order it? Because we don't want to pay $7 for a bar, so watch clearance. I'm warming through the breast cancer uh, awareness bars um, because I do have them all in my club, but I don't think they're going to stay. I wasn't a fan. Now, Sensi's doing the mental health awareness one, right? I think, is that out now too? Or it comes out May 1st. But again, they're up charging everything and then donating the difference. So really, you're donating on their behalf. So they get the tax right off. That's the same thing they did with the breast cancer awareness bars. I just don't agree with that. I think they should charge the normal and then they should donate. They should take. If they're going to get a tax right off, it's not like you're getting the tax right off for donating $6 extra for the pack of bars. Since he's getting that right off... I, like, I'm not going to, I, I just, I'm not going to order the mental health anything from that because I looked at the flyer again and it's the same difference. I do not agree with that. I think that is, it's greed. It's poor business. I don't agree. I've worked for other companies. I don't agree with how they're doing things. So these were in my club. I think I'm just going to take them all out. This one is Pink Spreads Hope. It's pretty, but it's not anything, again, that stands out to me, and I just didn't agree. I think I just get that ick factor when I warm it. Like, I don't agree with how they did that donation, so that's just me and my opinion. Coconut cotton. This is a flat back. This is in my club. This is sun -washed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, white sandalwood, transports you to a cabana on a tropical beach. Yes, it does. This is one scent that when I started, okay, I started buying in 2000 in my our last house and then my son um, 
had a big wax dent, and then every time I had a warmer out, he was playing in it. He was two years old. So then I put my Sensi away. So then when I got into it in 2020, when we were all home, and uh, you know how that went, this one was another one that I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this, I love this, and then this came back and I bring back my bar, and it's in my club now. I think it's phenomenal. I've loved that one for so long. So that's all my Sensi stuff. So I want to see how long this video is again, because sometimes I don't like, if the videos get really long, I, I prefer to keep the vendor and Sensi separate, so that way you're not having to sit for 40 minutes and listen to me go on and on, but let me just check. Okay, so this one's already 16 minutes, so I'm going to break this up and do my vendor separately, because I have more vendor, and that's probably going to be like 25 minutes, and I just don't want a long video like that. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a blessed and glorious Easter Sunday. I know we did with our family, and um, yeah, I actually had off that day. So I'm rambling, but I hope you guys are all doing well. And with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.